Hey, it's Eli, aka Atlas. And you want to be an artist. But what kind of artist? Storyboard artist? Concept artist? Background artist? Animator? Designer? Do you even know? What's the difference anyway? It's a big, bad, brand new world, and we'll go over all the pros and cons after the jump. Welcome back to those who know me and welcome to those of you who know of me. And for both, I think it's worth mentioning that in my brief decade plus of freelancing and conquering of myriad projects, I've actually played just about all the positions. Sometimes out of duty to the job and other times out of necessity to the project. In both cases, there are benefits to every role. And while I can't tackle every single title you can be bestowed in the larger art community, I can go over a few I've had a little more than average experience with. This is a very fun and experimental role. It's all about creation and discovery. And it can vary from working on humanoid creatures all the way to vast environments. The downside is that there isn't any commitment to the characters as you work on a per project basis. So if you're looking for a series and characters you can grow with, this might not be the best option. There's nothing like the ability to create life. And animation is the closest you can get. Animation, and the skill of animating, will open up a lot of creative and financial possibilities if you should decide to pursue it. Because it's needed in nearly every industry, from movies and games to music and advertising, the pitfall is that it's a lot of work. Too much work for most people, as a matter of fact, and depending on the style of animation you prefer, it takes a long time to master as well. This is much more industry specific, comic book industry to be exact, although there are probably other industries that require line artists exclusively. This is a great job to have, halfway between concept artists, but not quite the full scope of responsibilities in most cases. Only big con is that you really have to pull your weight. There's no room for slacking or leaving it up to the next guy on the chain of command. So that's your half of the responsibility. Not the easiest job by any means, but definitely the simplest by description. The project gets to you third way down the production line and the look of the project ultimately falls on you. So while it may be the last, it is absolutely not the least. The big hang up is that you won't often have much control over the story, designs, characters, any of it. You deal with what's already there after the fact. So if you're looking for more involvement in the creative process, huh. So this one is a very specific skill set. It requires a lot more technical knowledge than you would think, as you control the flow and pacing and energy of the scenes and sequences you'll be illustrating. In a way, you are the co-director of the project. Unfortunately, you won't get to flex your detail muscles most of the time. You'll have to have a pretty high output ability and also a lot of patience for the many revisions and revisions you'll turn in until you get it right. This is another really specific role. You don't control the overall character design or story, at least not directly. Backgrounds tell a lot of history and do a lot of foreshadowing to the overall concept of a story. So while it isn't always the most involved role, it's one of the most important. That about wraps it up for this week's video. Um, this one is a little short because I'm wondering if I should do a part two. There are definitely a lot more roles and uh, positions that exist for like visual artists, designers, graphic illustrators. So um, if you guys want to see a part two, make sure you leave a comment so that I can uh, keep making the list and uh, filling out the like pros and cons. Again, there's a lot of stuff that I'm just kind of glossing over, but hopefully this video kind of give you an idea of um, like a specific role. And if you're trying to get into something, just look at the pros and cons of it. I just kind of wanted to do a little rundown really quickly for the people who maybe want to switch it up and don't really know if that's something they want to get into. Hopefully this can kind of give you a little bit of a direction to go in based on what your interests are. All that said, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, that's the keyword for this year and every year. Make sure you share, share, share this video. And uh, the likes, the subscribers really help me and my channel out, and I appreciate you guys. Again, make sure you leave a comment or a suggestion on what other topics you want me to tackle. Uh, part two of this may or may not be in the works. Again, it's up to you guys. So let me know what you think and uh, let's get a discussion going on this topic. If you're a visual artist already and play one of these roles or a different role that maybe I haven't covered, uh, make sure you leave a comment as well. Like, what do you do? How do you feel about it? Is it something you really enjoy? Are you looking to get into a different um, position maybe? Um, let's get a discussion going. I wanna hear from you guys as always. So if you like this video, 
make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share once again. But also, make sure you come back next Friday for another episode of the 4 Reference Vlog. And this coming Monday for a speed drawing tutorial commission. Whatever's on my desk, I will share it with you guys. So hopefully you got something out of this video. Again, part two, part three. Will they be in the works? You decide. Hopefully you found this video entertaining and uh, a little bit educational so you can leave a little wiser. And I hope to see you guys back here later.